looking at your drip. Whoa, mommy, look at me. Oh, I'm killing it. Whoa, swinging side to side and I'm killing that. Whoa. Okay, now I'm ready. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, you're gonna learn how to do that. So, flipping your shirt and getting a new one on. It's super easy, but it takes a little practice and very much the same mimic all the way through. You'll see what I mean. Just stay tuned and watch this tutorial of how to change your shirt in a flip. Okay, so let's go open up After Effects right here. Import your footage that you need. Okay, drop it here or there or there wherever you want to drop it. So what I did here, I recorded everything at once. So the first part of the red shirt is in the beginning. I'll show you right here. So you see all this, all the audio right here in the beginning. That's with the red shirt. The black shirt is at the end here. And you can see all the peaks. That's where I'm clapping. So I know when to cut the, the video, of course. And here I made sure that I could see where I was going to change the shirt. So let's cut it right there. Control Shift D. Get it separate. Get the volume back again. Change this one to, for example, red, as it's a red shirt here. Peach, yeah, let's go with peach. Okay, so first of all, you need to trim down all the footage like this. So here I go to the very end. I do like this, control shift D, delete the last part right there. And you will do this all the way through in between every second clap. So you're sure you have all your information that you need. Okay, guys, I just finished up cutting all that footage. Okay, so now we need to make a marker every time the shirt is out here. So right before the boop. Okay, so the way you're going to do that you are going to the clip, finding the place exactly where you flip. The way you can do this is pressing page down or page up, depending where you are. Here I'm gonna press page down until I get to the flip. One page back, page up, and right there. Then you press the star right above the nine on most keyboards. And this we're gonna do with both the red shirt and the black shirt. Right after that, I'll be back. Okay guys, so as you can see, now they're all marked. Now we need to trim it down. The first part, the red one, here, we're gonna trim down the last part. So how we're gonna do that is by Take the shift, drag it to the timeline, to the, to the marker, shift, and pull back. Do that with all the clips, except for the last one with the black shirt. Then you're gonna drag the first part to the end. So let's do that real quick. Okay guys, as you can see, now they're all trimmed down. Now we just have to align them on top of each other. So let's start with the first one, like this. It's super easy, just hold down shift, boom. Let's do that for all of them again. Okay guys, as you can see, now they're all aligned, but they got some chunk behind them. So let's just cut all off all of that. Control D, like that, mark them all. 
else you're not gonna cut them. It's only cutting the thing that is marked. So boom, delete the first part. Now it's super clean. I like it. Here you do the same again, mark them all. I can show you like this. If you only do like this, control shift D, boom, cutting those free. We want all of them to be cut like that. Boom, delete that, that and that. Now your composition <laughs> is super clean. So let's move the first shirt above the black one, because that makes sense. This one, you're gonna move here and you're just gonna align it like that. And this one, take it one. Do not the marker, not the marker, like that. Okay, so now there is like two frames um, of cutting. So here, with the first one, you're gonna press the T or pass it, T, I don't know. Go to the end here, like that. So you have like 100, 50, zero. So you're gonna copy that, place the marker there, shift, control, no, <laughs> shift click, just select them all, and boom. Now all of these clips have an opacity of 150 and zero. Let's turn off on the voice because that is gonna be loud here you can close this one click right there turn off all of these and now you just have to look at which one is matching the most so let's try with the first shirt right here click that one it's half black because we turned down the opacity and then here you can see this one does not fit very good. It does not fit at all. Then we just try the next one. No, next one. A little better. Next one. That could work. That could work a lot. So you see, but maybe my arm is like too much, but it's in a fast motion. But the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna keep this Control click on both clips and Control D for duplicating those clips. Drag this clip to the top so they're connected. Move them a little away so they're not in the way. And you just continue doing that. I'll just skip through it very fast because I can. Let's do it. Boom. Okay, guys. As you. <laughs> okay, guys, 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 guys. It's gonna be sound like. But this is like five minutes after. But so, as you can see, I collected a bunch of clips here that is matching pretty well together. So all these clips from here down there, get rid of those. So let's see which one is matching the most. The way I'm gonna do that is looking at the shirt and the face see how good of a match it's gonna be okay so i'm using page up and down to see like the five frames in between each other so like shirt red shirt about to pull going to pull boom my face is changing a little too much here so i not going with this one so let's take the next one here page down oh, okay we have something here that is actually pretty tight you can see the focus is changing over here so that means I am not in focus in this picture. I don't know if I like that. Delete that one. That one could be a thing. Let's try the next one. 
Nope, not at all. Too jumpy. Delete that. Okay, I'm just gonna check this and then I'm gonna find the result that I'm gonna use. So, fast forward once again. Okay, the last one I would say is the best one. So let's delete these. Keep our mind on this little guy. Trim it down. Control Shift X. So you only have this part now. And that is basically how you change your shirt. P and an S and R. So what you're gonna make is an expression. So Alt click the stopwatch. Here you can wiggle, wiggle, and this uh, pretend, pretentious, uh, whatever it is. The first one is how many times per second. So let's say around two times. Comma, and then let's say how many pixels it's gonna move. So we want it to move like 50 pixels. Click anywhere else, boom. Now you have yourself a self-animated wiggle up and down. But we also want it to be on the rotation. So Alt, click the stopwatch and wiggle again here. Let's set this to also to... Uh, and this one is gonna be in degrees. So you don't want 50 because then it's gonna turn like boom. Let's go down and say like one. Let's make another composition right here. Let's call full HD 25 frames because we're here in Denmark. Where did you go? There. Okay. Drop it there, and now it's way too big. So do like this, scale it down, make an expression. I add 18 minutes, that was not the point. I want 18 seconds, but here we go. And scale it up there. Now we have a little wiggle and scaling at the same time. Okay, so as you can see, we have now color corrected it, made it cool, look like boom. Ran it out, three, two, one, boom. So there it was, how to make your shirt flip into another shirt. So if you like it, please subscribe. So let's wrap it up and say good night. Stay safe. And this was Martin Divino. So bye bye. Boop.